What up Clashes, welcome to Watch Clash TV Apocalypse here with a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Go Wipe. And I'm going to kind of do it as a tutorial and kind of share my replays that I've been getting lately. I've been using this strategy very often, especially in war, because it's very useful. Especially when I have to attack the top two guys. And what I like doing first is if I could lure out the clan castle troops, I make sure I lure them out. I tend to bring five barbarians and seven archers and I'll tell you the purpose for those later on but right now I'm going to talk about the barbarians. The barbarians they're only five and I usually tend to use them to group up the clan castle troops or lure them out. If I can't reach the clan castle troops I use them as um, kind of like a meat shield not that they have a lot of health but for my archers to take care of free percentages at the end of the base. Uh, now right here you're gonna see me lure those clan castle troops make sure they're all on top of each other and I drop my lightning spell on the I guess south end or southwest end of the clan castle troops and that usually takes care of all of them and just keep in mind that my uh, lightning spell is only level 5 and I think that's the good spot to drop it in because it always works for me or most of the time at least uh, now I drop one wall breaker just so I can stall that golem from not going in right away and then I drop two wall breakers on the top and now I drop my last one and now the golems are in the base. I stalled a little little bit when dropping my wizards because I knew that there should be a bomb in there because the tesla didn't pop up and there was a big gap and I made sure that it exploded before I dropped my wizards. Now what I tend to do is I like to drop my pekka's king, queen and clan castle troops which are usually filled with wizards near the enemy king or enemy queen. What that what that does is it basically lures my Pekkas and all my other troops towards the town hall. With the use of the jump spell, they're gonna go for the king because he triggered uh, by attacking one of the golems. And now they're in there. And as you can see here, the archer queen shoots them, but I freeze her and now they're in the middle compartment and it is only a matter of seconds while the town hall goes down. Now all I have to do is just wait for my troops to run around a little bit and basically it will be guaranteed 50%. Now as you can see here I have about 4 or maybe like 6 archers left and if I were to get let's say 40-47% I can use those um, archers on the outside like I will right now and they're going to take out some extra buildings for me and make sure I get that 50%. In this raid I didn't really need them but I will show you in the next raid how those archers always come in handy. And once again guys this is more of a tutorial kind of thing and I hope you guys like it. So this is my troop composition. I usually bring 14 wizards and then I believe 8 wizards in my clan castle. And then I bring 4 pekkas, my king and queen. Even though they're a low level it usually works out well. So this is another attack I did. And he had a little gap there which helped me out a lot because I got to lure the clan castle troops. And luring the clan castle troops is super important. Especially if you don't use your light lightning spell properly or you misplace it by an accident. Um, if you could lure them, make sure you lure them before you start your attack. Now, this base did not have the king and queen, um, so I couldn't really use them as a lure. And what I did here was I, again, made sure all the wizards go on, on top of each other, and I dropped the lightning spell again on, like, the southwest area. And I, that usually takes care of all of them. Like I said, my lightning spells are only level 5, and it works perfectly for level 6 wizards. And here, what I did was, again, make sure... A lot of people make this mistake, and you guys need to drop your golems and make sure they're spread out. Make sure all the defenses in the whole, I guess, section that you're attacking from are all focusing on the golems. Just like here, you can see most of the defenses, like the expo, the mortar, they're all attacking the golem and my wizards are going to be pretty good except that giant bomb that explodes but this time I didn't really use all my wizards because I noticed there's a lot of giant bombs and now I just I drop my wall breakers and I make sure they destroy at least one compartment if they destroy more than one compartment things can go sour because the pekkas might start heading towards the other areas and that one compartment is just enough because as soon as they go in there I drop my jump spell and they're going to be heading straight for the town hall right after that as you can see here, what happens is the golems, they usually die out, but the P.E.K.K.A.s are really tanky and they go towards the center. I use my free spell and make sure I get the expo too. And things are looking good. I'm going to drop another rage spell just a little far off uh, so they can go use that as well. And they're going to go through, run through the base. Now, like I said, look at this. I, at the moment, my troops are dying down. And once again, I always bring five barbarians to lure out the clan castle troops and seven archers and as you can see on the right here I dropped some archers for those free buildings and this is what I was talking about in the previous raid it is always nice to save them till the end because you never know when you're gonna be and when you're, when you're gonna end up with 47 percent or 45 percent or whatever it is so what I did here was I let my pekkas run around my queen is about to die as well but I really wanted that 50 percent so I can get the second star so I just let these archers shoot around the buildings 
And once again, if you have around seven of these, that can guarantee you almost 7%. So that's not too bad, if, especially if um, you place them properly. So up there, I placed one wrong and she got shot down, but that's okay. So we're at 45%, 47 with that gold mine. And we're just have it's just amount of time now that we just have to wait a few seconds and they're gonna take care of those camps. Now, once again, you can always drop your barbarians if you have any left over to kind of tank like I'm doing right now. This is just to show you how I'm doing it. Um, they're just tanking everything uh, while your archers can shoot down buildings. Unfortunately for this guy, I did get the two star victory and um, I did get the 22 cups. So now I'm gonna go to another raid. It's gonna be on a very easy base and it's just gonna be another way of you guys seeing how to attack with go wipe. Go wipe's pretty simple as long as you remember to spread out your clan I mean spread out your golems and also spread out your um spread out your wizards to make sure you get the 50% and to make sure definitely to make sure that all the buildings surrounding buildings are out of the way before you drop your uh pekka. So what I did here was I dropped my seven archers on the outside because this base was super easy. I didn't even bother leaving them till the end. And once again, as you, as, you, as you guys can see, I dropped my golems pretty spread out, not too bad. Um, I dropped some wall breakers to open up the compartments. The clan castle troops are coming out. In this base particularly, you couldn't really lure the clan castle troops unless you brought hogs. And I didn't really think about it. This was a war attack and I was just raiding it because it looked easy. And he was one of the top guys, if you can believe it or not. So what I did here was I waited for the witch and the wizards to get packed together, dropped the lightning spell. That took care of most of the stuff. I dropped my pekkas. And all that and look at that they're all heading towards the right way because all the outside buildings are taken care of and when they got to that compartment once again i dropped my jump spell and things are looking good all the pekkas golem witch, witches wizards whatever else i don't have witches actually but whatever else i got they all went towards the middle and it is just about that time i'm going to be dropping a free spell on the queen and that is because i didn't want her to um, attack any of my P.E.K.K.A.s because they will stop attacking the town hall and go towards her and that can really ruin your raid especially if um, this base was maxed out and she attacked them and they ended up going away from the town hall there was a chance that I wouldn't have even gotten the town hall but as you guys can see this base looks pretty easy and it actually was pretty easy my wizards are going ham at the bottom my P.E.K.K.A.s are going ham on the right my golem's still alive my king is about to die but he's still going my queen is still kicking everything's looking good uh, I dropped some archers that I had left over um, and some barbarians to take care of those outside buildings to make sure that I get that 100%. And now it's just a matter of time and if I will end up getting it. So as you guys can see, go wipe is pretty simple as long as you spread out your golems, um, as long as you drop your pekkas on time and not too late and not too early because you don't want them walking around. And also, you can always use this king, queen or clan castle troops um, to basically guide your pekkas towards the town hall. Unfortunately though, I don't like using the clan castle troops to guide my P.E.K.K.A.s towards the town hall But in sometimes when you can't lure them, it is probably another thing you should consider um, Just make sure you drop that lightning spell on time and other than that guys Just enjoy the rest of this video and please follow me on Twitter at watch clash TV And also like this video if you like these kind of raids and if you want me to do anything else Just comment below I will be getting down to finishing the, the do you even like or do you like cock video? Uh, the prank we're doing with me in Afterlife, uh, that should be out soon. And thanks again, guys. Take care. See you soon.